Atheist Richard Dawkins has some things to say about Jesus. This gets wild, and I'm still trying to make sense of it myself. You're going to want to stay tuned. Hey guys, what's up? It's Isaac David, and this is The Daily Disciple, where I help you find Jesus and follow him daily. I just want to give a huge shout out to everyone on Patreon. It is because of your support on Patreon that this ministry keeps going and growing. Honestly, this is my life's mission. This is what I've poured all my time into. This is what I'm most passionate about, and if you want to help support support me and help me do this full time because uh, ultimately that would be my goal and my dream to be able to do this full time. You can help support in the link in my bio, um, five bucks a month, as little as five bucks a month. You can do more if you'd like, um, but just invest into what God's doing here. That would be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, guys. I won't belabor the point. Now on to the video. Okay, without further ado, roll the clip. That's very admirable, but I think for some people it represents a bonding of the community. And well, I you could have concerts and lectures and mm -hmm. books clubs and but I think when they get together and they talk about all the values that Jesus proposed if Jesus is the higher power it, it gives them this sort of again moral scaffolding to yes. live their life yes well Jesus would probably on the whole provide a fairly good moral scaffolding not totally but but um, right he was ahead of his time anyway I think it's absolutely hilarious that Richard Dawkins says that Jesus morality was good but not perfect it's like bro <laughs> it's like bro <laughs> By the, according to whose standard, like you're the judge of Jesus's morality, like you're the ultimate arbiter of whose morality is good and whose isn't. You see, what he's doing is so ironic because he actually has no moral foundation to stand on at all without God. You see, Richard Dawkins simply believes that we are all highly evolved organisms uh, birthed out of stardust, that we have no intrinsic meaning or purpose or worth that there is no real ought or right or wrong. We're all simply chemical reactions. And what's one chemical reaction to say to another that something is right or wrong? Who says that's just your subjective opinion? Jesus offered us an objective truth based on his character. He claimed to be the truth and the only way to make sense of life and morality. I'm not denying that Richard Dawkins doesn't know right from wrong. I believe that he does. What I'm saying is that he doesn't have any way in his worldview to account for that morality. I believe that God has laid his law on Richard Dawkins' heart, all of our hearts, and he's given us a conscience. But some of us deny that Jesus, that God, is the source of that morality, of that source of understanding, oh, what is right and what is wrong. And some people will say, no, no, no. I can be good without God. Well, without God, how do you know what is good? It's just up to your opinion. And a lot of people throughout the centuries have had very different opinions on what it looks like to be good. I'm pretty sure that Richard Dawkins would condemn what Hitler did and what Stalin did and what the great terrible dictators of, of our world have done but he has really no moral foundation to say what they did was wrong. They believed it was good. It was enough for them in their uh, subjective opinion. What, they're, what they were doing was the greatest of moral goods. Yes, Dawkins may have a different opinion, but that's simply all it is in his worldview. It's his opinion. Atheists will deny that the origin of our conscience comes from God, and that's an outflowing of a rebellion against him, which the Bible says leads to death. However, God in his mercy sent Jesus to live the sinless life that we could not live to die on the cross the death we deserve to die for our sins against God and he rose again on the third day defeating sin and death and what we are called to do is put our faith in Jesus and he will bring within us a new heart with new desires. He will transform us from the inside out and we will get eternal life, not as a reward of being a good person or doing nice things, but simply by his grace and mercy. Today, I'd encourage you stop running from the author of goodness and trust in him today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a like down below and be sure to subscribe because I'm putting out new videos every single day. Once again, a huge shout out to everyone on Patreon. It is because of your support that I can continue to do um, what I'm doing here and fulfill my mission and my calling. So thank you for doing that. You were an answered prayer to me. Um, I'll let you guys go. I hope you have a great day and uh, God bless.